Hi everyone, in this video I discuss how to make use of the truth tree test to determine whether or not an argument is valid or invalid. Let's start with the definition of validity. We can define validity by saying that an argument P, Q, Y, therefore Z, where P, Q, and Y are the premises and Z is the conclusion, is valid in the language of propositional logic if and only if P, Q, and Y entail Z. If P, Q, and Y entail Z, what this expresses is that there's no interpretation such that would make P, Q, and Y true, and Z false. In other words, there's no interpretation that would make P, Q, Y, and the negation of Z all true at the same time. To see how to make use of the truth tree test in order to determine whether or not an argument is valid or invalid, Consider that a closed tree for a proposition or set of propositions, and let's just call it P, indicates that there is no interpretation such that P is true. In other words, if we place P in a tree, decompose P, and find that the, tr the tree is closed, then we know that there's no way of assigning truth values to the propositional letters that compose P that would make P true. If this is what a closed tree indicates, then a closed tree for P, Q, Y, not Z, would indicate that there's no interpretation that would make P, Q, Y, and not Z true. And if there's no interpretation that would make P, Q, Y, and not Z true, then we would know that P, Q, Y, therefore Z is valid. So in short, we can test an argument like P, Q, Y, therefore Z using a truth tree by taking the stack of formulas P, Q, Y, not Z, and if that stack of formulas yields a closed tree, then we know the argument is valid. If it doesn't yield a closed tree, then the argument is invalid. That is, a completed open tree for P, Q, Y, not Z would indicate that the argument P, Q, Y, therefore Z is invalid. Let's take a look at an example, and we'll just sort of sketch an example to see how the truth tree method works here. So suppose we had an argument where that consisted of P, Q, and Y, therefore Z, and we wanted to see if it was valid or invalid. First, we'd set up the tree by stacking the premises P, Q, and Y, and negating the conclusion. Then we decompose the tree, and third, we check to see if the tree was completed open tree or closed tree. If it was a completed open tree, then we would know that the argument is invalid. If it were a closed tree, then it would be valid. So here's a kind of sketch, although here we aren't making use of any decomposition rules. What we do is take the formulas P, Q, Y, and the negation of the conclusion, not Z, and stack it on lines one through four. From there, we would go and decompose the rest of the tree using the decomposition rules discussed in an earlier video. If we found that all of the branches closed, then we would have a closed tree, and we could say that the argument is valid. If there were at least one completed open branch, then we know that there's an interpretation that would make it possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false, and so the argument would be invalid.